Peace. I'm a proud PK, a preacher's kid. And as many of you well know, we preacher's kids can sometimes be worse than the sinner's kids. And growing up, I was no exception. Neither were many of my best friends who were themselves fellow juvenile delinquent preacher's kids. In fact, my dog, my Rudy, the one I run the street with, been a preacher's kid too. And much like my dad, his dad insisted that his only way to salvation was to get saved. Yet without ever stepping in the prayer line, my friend's behavior eventually did improve. His father noticed and asked him, had he secretly gotten saved? To which my friend said, well, no and yes. No, he hadn't converted to Christianity, but he had taken the Shahada. His father flew into a rage and told him, that is not what I told you to do. My boy said, that is exactly what you told me to do. You said my only hope was to have a closer relationship with God. And his dad said, not that God. To which my friend said, what you mean, daddy? I'm serving the same God as you. And his dad said, not the right way. And at that moment, it became crystal clear that his father was not simply parenting, but proselytizing to his son. All election season, we've been hearing that black men won't vote. Even I got accused by some people of promoting the idea of not voting, despite the fact that I never did that. What I said was, I respect the person's right to vote or not vote as their decision to make. Whether I agree with the decision or not, in the words of Tila Rock, it's yours. Yet, when I posted my I Voted post and told the story about a poll worker who was wildly inappropriate and illegally trying to coerce my vote, some of your comments were so predictable that I didn't need to leave this spot to respond to them preemptively. I knew this was coming. Some of y'all claim to be so pro-democracy, yet you are trying to be fair to a poll worker who tried to illegally upend my constitutional right to vote for whomever I choose. Yeah, you have your sanctimonious reasons as to why what they did was not right, but you're gonna low-key defend it with your backhanded chastisements if it ain't for who you want me to vote for, even without you knowing who I voted for. I am a Gullah Geechee South Carolinian. South Carolina is a solid red state. A Democrat presidential candidate hasn't won South Carolina since Jimmy Carter in 1976, so you don't know that the poll worker wasn't a Trump supporter, saying that I'm wasting my vote on Kamala, but I'm also from the low country of South Carolina where there's a high black population. So maybe the poll worker was a Kamala supporter saying that I'm wasting my vote on Trump. But South Carolina is a bipartisan state. So it could have been a Trump or Kamala supporter saying that I'm wasting my vote on a third party candidate. Or maybe the poll worker was a Republican, Democrat, or Independent saying that I'm wasting my vote by leaving that space blank. You quite literally do not know the specifics of this situation yet here you are. Now, some of the same people who falsely accused me of promoting not voting are in your feelings because I said that I voted without telling y'all who I voted for. Well, what happened to black people fought and died for your right to vote, your duty bound to vote? Well, if you would rather I didn't vote at all or try to be fair to someone who illegally tried to impede my right to vote, if I'm not going to vote the right way, according to you, you do not want democracy. You want fealty. But my ancestors fought and died for autonomy the liberty to do nothing but stay black and die until or unless they chose to do otherwise. Self-determination. And if hearing about a black man's voting rights being criminally coerced inspires a both sides response from you, that is quite appropriate because you've proven yourself to be two sides of the same coin. The only question is whose heads and whose tails. But if y'all want to know so bad who I voted for, okay, I voted for the Nunya Business Ticket 2024. All power to the people. We are you.